Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us on this special edition of WHUC News 7 Noon Report. I'm Shannon Bram Jeans. Topping our news at this hour, today, part of the United States will witness a total eclipse. While Mississippi may be directly in the path of totality, we want to make sure our viewers can experience it all up close. We have, a t we have team coverage from Jonesboro, Arkansas, Arkadelphia, Arkansas, Jackson, Mississippi, and Utica, Mississippi. WHUC News 7 reporter Tamora Heyman is over in the 123 mile wide path of totality, the region in which the moon will appear to completely block out the sun. Tamora Heyman is standing by live at Henderson University in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. That's about an hour south of Little Rock, and she joins us now. Yeah, Shannon, I'm here in southwestern Arkansas where the total eclipse launch party is about to begin. Let's go have some fun. At Henderson State College, people came to watch a total solar eclipse where glasses and t-shirts were provided. There are food trucks and fun activities such as bounce houses and telescopes that you can look through to see the sun. Dan Fuller expresses the importance on bringing high students. Well, we have a program on campus with NASA, the NASA Community College Aerospace Scholars Program. And part of that is uh, encouraging students to think about aerospace and space, careers, and that sort of thing. And so the eclipse is just a perfect opportunity to uh, tie all that together. Ginger Otwell may know her feelings on I am. I'm really excited for it. It's the first time that Henderson's done something like this, so it's exciting. Rory Leonard shares what she thinks about the eclipse. It's a total solar eclipse. It makes it really cool. I'm having so much fun at the solar eclipse watch party. I've even learned how to fly a plane. Back to you, Shannon Brown Jean. Thanks, Tamora. We'll check back with, with you uh, a little closer to the totality. And we will check in with WHUC News 7 reporter Harrison Sims, who is over at Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, Arkansas, later in the show. The path of totality will span over 100 miles across the state and cover 53 of Arkansas's 75 counties, which includes cities such as Little Rock and Hot Springs. The 115 mile wide path of totality, the region in which the moon will appear to completely block out the sun, will stretch from south, south, south Texas up through southern Illinois, then over to Niagara Falls in northern Maine. However, millions of people outside that corridor will see a partial eclipse. Totality will begin around 1.30 p.m. local time in San Antonio, 1.15 in Arkansas, and then 3.05 p.m. in Indianapolis, 3.15 in Cleveland, and 3.30 in Maine. If you are in the path of totality, the moon will appear to completely block out the sun for as long as seven minutes and a seven and a half minutes. Daytime will turn into near night during that time and the sun's corner the outer rays may be visible. Many organizations and groups are preparing to host viewing events in Mississippi today. As the moon blocks out the sun's light during the eclipse, locations um, experiencing totality will be plunged into darkness and stars will become visible, street lights could turn on, and the temperature will drop. Mississippi will see a partial eclipse during this event. We will be right back with more WHUC News 7 special eclipse report after this. Welcome back. As the eclipse unfolds, students from Heinz Utica campus are gathering in Bulldog Plaza for the eclipse watch party that we were, that's where we find WHUC News 7 reporter Dejanae Antoine, and she's gonna tell us about all the fun that they're having. Dejanae? 
That's right, Shannon. I'm here right now in Utica, Mississippi at Heinz Community College. Students and faculty are greatly anticipating the solar eclipse. It will be another 21 years before the world will see another solar eclipse. So best believe, high students and faculty had to come out. Faculty provided glasses, moon pies, and water for students. Freshman Heinz student Asia Dawson shared why she came out to watch the solar eclipse. I really just came for like the experience. And just, just to see it basically, because I never seen it. Prepping everything. So Dr. Willa Russell shared why it was important to wear the glasses for the solar eclipse. Glasses is that they are prepared in such a way that it will prevent the damage of UV radiation to your eyes from the sun. Being a little iffy, students and faculty were able to get a glimpse of the eclipse, but not much. Back to you, Shannon. Thanks, Dejanae. The total solar eclipse is crossing North America today. It's a big day, but whose big day is it? The sun, the moon, maybe the Earth's? Hmm, today they think it's about them on April 8th. But should it be their big day? Whose team are you on? WHUC News 7's Kai Beard asked that question to several college students and faculty, and here's the report. That's right, Shannon. Here on the Hines Utica campus, the weather is getting a little iffy, but that won't stop us from asking students around campus when was the last time they seen the solar eclipse? And also, which team are they on? Are they on Team Sun, Team Moon, or Team Earth? And in 2020. 2044, when there, how old there will be for the next solar eclipse. Manuel Johnson Jr. tells us when he uh, saw the last dude, solar eclipse. I was in middle school, seventh grade year. What and year was that? 2000. and Dior tells us how old he will be for the next solar eclipse. Uh, I'll be 39. And Kelvin Gardner tells us what team he's on. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I haven't chosen. Anthony Crump tells us what team he's on. I'm on team Earth because, you know, we populate the Earth. And not just that, um, just looking at the eclipse and stuff, looking at how the sun and everything just gets covered by the moon. It's just, you know, it's a once in a lifetime event. And, you know, it, it's nothing better than the Earth. It's nothing better than the Earth. And, um, yeah, the next time I might see an eclipse, I'll be probably 41 years old. And I know that's old, but uh, yeah, I'll be glad to see it again if I turn for the one. Yeah. Jaden Laurie tells us what teams he is on. I'm on Team Sun because the sun is the biggest star and it helps all the planet rotate and it keeps Earth protected. I guess. You heard them out. Kai Beer reported for WHUC News 7. Thanks, Kai. Well, as for me personally, I'm cheering on the sun. That's, that's where my bet is. Here are some of the viewing events that will take place in Mississippi today on April the 8th. Solar Eclipse viewing party will take place at Keg and Barrel in Hattiesburg. Solar Eclipse glasses are available as well. Hattiesburg will be at 83.93% coverage. The partial eclipse starts at 12.32 p.m. will be at a maximum at, at its maximum at 1.52 p.m. and will conclude at 3.11 p.m. Other viewing parties are at the viewing are at the Jackson Hines Library System will host a watch party starting at 9 a.m. at the Willie Morris Library in Jackson and at the Evelyn Taylor Marjorie Library in Utica Viewing glasses will be, be available as well. The Medgar Evers Library is hosting a viewing party at 11 a.m. through 4 p.m. The Lewis A. Flag Library in Edwards will also host an Eclipse Day viewing party starting at 3.30 p.m. If you're heading up near Oxford, Mississippi, the Society of Physics Students in conjunction with Physics Graduate Students Association and the student members of the American Chemical Society will hold a campus-wide event to provide an opportunity for all to safely view the solar eclipse at the University of Mississippi from 10 a.m. through 3 p.m. There will be a table in the Union Plaza distributing eclipse glasses and directing people to the viewing, main viewing event in the quad 
in front of Johnson, in front of the Johnson Commons from 12 p.m. to 4.30, 4 p.m., my apologies. Telescopes will be set, set up to see details of the sun's surface and moon pies will be distributed near the solar maximum. Mm. If you're near traveling, if you're near or you're traveling to Starksville, you may want to head on up to Mississippi State. State will also host a solar eclipse viewing event today. The event is free and open to the public and it will be held on the MSU drill field. Proper eyewear will be available at no cost and it's on a first come first serve basis and it will begin at noon. Maximum, maximum eclipse in Starksville will be approximately 90% coverage and occurs at 1.56 p.m. through the eclipse, be, though the eclipse will be visible between 12.37 p.m. and 3.15 p.m. Back here in central Mississippi and west of the Mississippi River, over in the red carpet city in the city of Vicksburg, the Vicksburg National Park and the Warren County Vicksburg Public Library will hold a viewing event for the partial solar eclipse. A partial solar eclipse will be visible in Vicksburg with approximate 92% occlusion in, of the sun. Join park rangers and staff from the library outside the visitor center to, the, to view the eclipse and explore family friendly space themed activities. Yeah. Free solar eclipse viewing glasses will be provided for those who are participating in the program. The viewing event will be ongoing from 12.30 p.m. till 3 p.m. You know, hey, we'll be right back. You're watching WHUC News 7 Special Eclipse Report. Stay with us. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us on the WHUC News 7 report of the eclipse. I'm Shannon Brown Jeans. As a reminder, a total solar eclipse is the only type of eclipse where you have a brief window to see the sun with the naked eye. During partial or annual eclipses, proper eyewear such as eclipse glasses must be worn at all time. A cosmic event at this scale hasn't been seen in seven years. In this time, it will be bigger and longer than that many experienced in 2017. The solar eclipse is entering the U.S. through Texas and making its way across the Long Star State. Several Texas cities will get a chance to see 100% totality during this solar eclipse, including Austin, Dallas, and Fort Worth. And so will WHUC News 7 reporter Tamora Heyman. Tamora is standing by live at Henderson State University in Arkadelphia. What's happening out there now, Tamora? Yes, Shannon, I'm here in Arkansas where the total eclipse is about to begin. At Henderson State College, the total solar eclipse, rare celestial event, last occurred in Arkansas in 1918. State officials say it's the largest tourism event in state's history. Alexis Moiser expresses feelings on Eclipse. It's pretty cool to be able to see a historical monument, and I'm super excited to be a part of it. The field. Valerie Newton yeah, shares what so she so thinks so about Eclipse. Oh, it's super cool. It's really exciting. Stephanie Burks explains what she wants to from, take away from Eclipse viewing. Um, I want them to understand uh, that science is always happening around them. I want them to be more uh, aware of what's available to them at NASA, who funded a lot of these activities in Arkansas today, and to really just become contributors to science in everyday life. It's been a very shady day. You get it? Because the moon is covering the sun. Tamora Heyman, WHUC News 7. Back to you, Shannon Brown Jones. Thanks, Tamora. 
The total solar eclipse is, cu is cutting right through the middle of Arkansas, granting an epic view of the cosmic event. Most of Arkansas will see 100% totality or just shy of that. What are you seeing right now out there, Harrison? That's right, and for everybody watching at home, we're in Jonesboro, Arkansas on the Arkansas State Campus. And as you can see, there are hundreds of students here to see the path of totality. Everybody's ready to see the big show, and everybody has their glasses on hand when they're ready to see it. The Howl at the Sun event, the watch party that was being held at the Arkansas State University for students and the public to witness the solar eclipse event. Gun Young, a student here who was from South Korea, was thankful they stayed an extra semester to witness this event. I'm glad that I decided to stay here because I really was gonna go to my country back, like before this semester. But well, I'm really glad that I decided to stay here. For some people, like Eddie, this was their first time seeing an event like this. I don't like it. Really good. Cause like this actually, like out of my whole life, this my it's my first time for actually just see the eclipse just happen. Like I ain't just never last year before that, even before then. I never like just got these moments to just see it or just experience it at all. Okay. So I, I think it's gonna be fine. I mean, well, I already looked at it. It's like half of the moon going already. I mean, cover half of the moon already. So I like it. I, I mess with it. This is what it looks like right now. 100% totality. As you can see, this, the crowd's going wild. Um, it, it looks like it's literally midnight outside, or about to turn night. Like, it, it, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's a, definitely a sight to see. Some students have seen past eclipses, but have never seen one in totality, like Adrian. I've been through a couple of eclipses before, but this is going to be the first one in totality, and it's pretty fun. I can't have an actual better group of people to be with right now. Many people were out here enjoying themselves while waiting. They were dancing, throwing a ball, eating shaved ice provided by the campus, and patiently waiting on beach towels for this event. While waiting in line, Lourdes told us why she was nervous about the event. I don't know. It's just something new, something new to experience. Really just excitement, really. Pulsi Dole told us why she's excited about the event. It's a very uh, anticipating for me. I was like being curious and I've been researching since yesterday, like what exactly is solar eclipse it is. So yeah, it's kind of like ex scientifically and astrologically as well. It's very fascinating for me. So, and also it's a full, uh, not a partial, but it's a full uh, eclipse. So it's kind of like very exciting for me. This is a historical event and this event will be in the record. Natalie knows the importance of sharing this information to ones who don't know about the event. I think it's really cool. I mean, I know that, like, it's something that I can tell people, like, from younger generations that I got to see, and maybe even some that did get to see that I can't remember, and just kind of refresh them on what happened. When the eclipse came out, everyone was shocked and cheering. As you can see, the party still continues. Hundreds of people have witnessed this event in Jonesboro, Arkansas at the Arkansas State University. It's Harrison Sims, WHUC News 7. Thanks, Harrison. The city with the longest totality in Arkansas will be Batesville with a maximum time of four minutes and three seconds. Back here in the Magnolia State, a partial solar eclipse is being seen in Mississippi, areas such as Biloxi, Gulfport, and Jackson. They'll see about 80% to 89% totality during this solar eclipse. WHUC News 7 reporter Christopher Farish is in Jackson at the National Ch Museum for Children, and uh, they have a solar eclipse party going on there as well. What's going on there, Chris? That's right, Shannon. I'm standing here in the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science where they're having their solar eclipse party, where many people are coming in to see this historic event. The Mississippi Museum of Natural Science hosted a watch party for the solar eclipse taking place. Visitor Services Manager of the museum, T.J. Drummond, gave us a little bit of insight on the day's eclipse. Yeah, so today it's the uh, it's the partial solar eclipse. Uh, so obviously the uh, the last time we had an eclipse of this nature it was about eight years ago or so, and it was only about sixty percent totality. So this is a really big deal for us. Uh, next time we'll see an eclipse of this nature, it's going to be eighty percent today. Next time we'll see one of this is going to be about twenty years from now. 
So uh, we uh, we got to make hay while the sun is shining, as it were. Here in Jackson, we're going to get 80%. That's still going to be pretty miraculous. Uh, like I said, pretty uh, unprecedented, at least, uh, you know, for, uh, gosh, for the next uh, two decades or so. We also spoke with NASA Astrochemistry Partners Program Leader Maria Lott. And though it was cloudy, her spirits were high. Yes, it's cloudy, but that doesn't, that doesn't dampen a bit of the spirit. The kids are finding that we have live broadcasts being produced right now in our auditorium as well as our projectors here and on our displays from NASA so we can actually experience the eclipse as it crosses the entire United States. Why is that important? Because we're making memories that when you're 20 years older, you're going to go back and say, yeah, I remember that eclipse. I do remember it. It was cloudy, but we got to experience it. Well, you guys, that was truly an historic event. I can't believe I'm going to be 20 years older by the time another one comes. Christopher Farish, reporting for WHUC News 7. Back to you, Shannon. Batesville, Mississippi is expected to have a stellar 95% totality, meaning the moon will leave just a sliver of the sun uncovered. So when is the next time a total eclipse? We will see a total solar eclipse again. Well, I'm glad you asked. Full solar eclipse occur every three, well, every year or two or three, often in the middle of nowhere, like the South Pacific or the Atlantic and Arctic. The next total solar eclipse will be in 2026, and it will grace the northern fringes of Greenland, Iceland, and Spain. North America won't experience totality again until 2033, with Alaska getting soul dibs, then that'll be it until 2044, when totality will be confined to the western, western Canada, Montana, and North Dakota. And this concludes our special eclipse report for WHUC News 7. I'm Shannon Brown-Jeans. Thank you for joining us.